Hi, I'm Nick Pond with Jay Lamb at Lemons HQ. Just coming back from the North Dallas Hoopty at Eagles Canyon Raceway in Texas where we had a lot of good stuff. It was our first 24 hour race of the season. We had a returning team, Team Blue Goose, always entertaining. They had their own team cheerleaders, which was hella sweet. That was hella sweet. Uh, what was not hella sweet, in fact, was butt terrible. We had these dudes, they showed up with an ex-cop car Impala. The car was only about five years old. It was slow, it blew up, they drove off the track. It was just butt terrible. Surprisingly, we've had a couple of Jeep Cherokees and Lemons, and for the most part, they tend not to be but They're terrible. not so bad. Yeah. And this one was no exception. It was hella sweet, in fact. Uh, however, but terrible, I wound up drawing the 3 p.m. to 3 a.m. shift in race control in the tower. That was but terrible. It also was your idea. Yeah, it was, unfortunately. But hella sweet, another returning team, Team Tetanus. They got a Dodge Neon, they got a Porsche 944. Great bunch of guys. Yeah. They actually did really well. I think yeah. they both finished in the top 10. That was hella sweet. Yeah. They usually do terrible. It was hella sweet, but they didn't. Yeah. Here's your overall winners. Uh, we don't care about that. Yeah. On to more interesting awards. The special award for this race was the Really Bad Idea Award, which went to Crazy Mike and his Scrubbin' Bubbles Volkswagen Beetle, which he towed to Texas from Sacramento, California, with his Volkswagen Vanagon. That was a really bad idea, and the car blew up. Yes. So that gets us to the heroic fix. Now these guys, the Jersey Village Idiots, they had never worked on a car, they had never raced a car, I'm not sure they'd ever driven a car before. They showed up, blew up their transmission right away, learned how to rebuild the transmission, within 24 hours got back on the track. Spectacular. Very heroic. On the other side, you have the I Got Screwed Award. Now, Brandon Spears is a team captain. He's brought a lot of cool cars to our event. This time, he was signed up with two. Only one of them showed up. It didn't really run, so he hopped in somebody else's car, and he promptly proceeded to break the car that he was borrowing to drive. So basically, anybody associated with Brandon Spears, they, they got, got screwed. screwed. Uh, the judge's choice was Metroplex, not so many. Bunch of mini owners, smart enough not to enter a mini. They brought a Mazda 626 never built a car before they read the rules 10 times over got it 100 percent right sailed through tech no penalties went around lap after lap after lap great guys and the organizer's choice yet another rookie team in fact we had three really great rookie teams at this event there are a lot of guys that do it over and over again still can't get it right yeah. and here are three that got it on their first try yeah but so organizer's choice team brovado they brought a bmw e30 yeah whatever but what they did do was have a fantastic heavy metal Van Halen 80s power rock hair band theme perfectly executed well deserving of the organizer's choice yeah and that just takes us to the IOE the index of affluency this was speedy Monzales. not really much more to say than it was a Chevy Monza that went around and around and around they played La Cucaracha music they all dressed in serapes if you weren't brutally offended you were very amused by the giant sombrero on the car and the giant whip tail covered in lights all night long and the fact that their differential started to go out about two laps into the race and it ran around two minutes from failing until the very last turn of the very last lap when it finally failed and they took the checkered flag. Fabulous. And that does it for North Dallas Hoopty, so we'll leave you with lemons in a nutshell. Go for it.